Hey guys, welcome back to The Unsavvy Budgeter. For those of you that are new to this channel, my name's Cindy and I take you along with me on my debt-free journey to pay off over $71,000 in credit card and student loan debt. In this video, we're overdue for a budget update for the month of June, so I wanted to quickly go over where we stand today and already forewarn you guys that this month wasn't too great with our spending habits, but we'll go into that soon. So let's go ahead and get right into the budget. All right, so here is our beautiful dashboard for the month of June. But before I get into the numbers, I wanted to remind you guys to help me out with this YouTube algorithm and make sure to hit that like button so that we can get our videos promoted more because YouTube has not been favoring our videos that much lately. So help me out and let's go ahead and get into the numbers. So not too much has changed with income sources. The side hustles, we did pick that up a little bit this month and we have brought in close to $800 so far. Reimbursements are at close to $330. So that was a little bit of extra money that helped us out that increased our total income to $11,665.28. So bringing us to a total available balance, including the money that we had left over in our checking account. Now we're standing at $14,731.16 to work with for the month. When it comes to the categories, I have to forewarn you guys that we are looking to be more in the red this month with the state of California lifting the mandate to wear masks if you've been fully vaccinated. People are definitely out and about socializing more. And with us breaking the news that we're moving to Georgia to our friends and family, everybody has all of a sudden wanted to try and squeeze in time to visit us and spend time with us. So this month is already pretty packed with family visiting and with us being hosts comes the cost of dining, groceries, as well as entertainment kind of going out the window for us. So we're trying to figure out where we can allocate our money a little bit differently so that we can kind of buffer how much we overspent. So Let's get into the categories. Debt payoff, so far we have spent $3,800 and we think that it's going to stay around there because we don't really have any more left over money to put towards the debt payoff, which is a bummer because the budgeted goal was close to 5,600, but we need to use that leftover money to really help offset in the categories that you see that are in red where we've overspent on. Household has not too much of a drastic change because those are more of our fixed expenses with the mortgage. Everything else is looking pretty good with in the green until we hit food. We have budgeted $550 and we've already overspent by $241.06. Again, that contributes to us having visitors as much as we want to try to encourage our guests to just hang out at home and eat with us. To them, it's like a vacation, so they want to go out and splurge. And that's where it hits us hard a little bit. Savings stays the same because we always save um, the same amount every month. And pet care also took a hit, putting us a little bit over budget of $100. Our dog actually ended up getting sick. It had a UTI and so we had concerns there. We took it to the vet and got some medication for our dog, but I'm hoping to offset that a little bit um, and submit a claim to our pet insurance that we pay for. So hopefully that can alleviate some of the costs. When it comes to personal spending, I wasn't great with that. I was the one that definitely overspent. So we are close to $30 over budget here. And I have to admit, it's, I'm getting into my bad habits of like shopping again and just wanting to buy things for myself, like clothes. So it's been a little bit hard because now I feel like I don't really have clothes to wear. But one of you did give a great suggestion of buying secondhand. So I'm trying to get into the habit of that and 
shopping for myself through Mercari. We have set sinking funds for clothes and other things that we think that we're going to spend on. But I told myself that I don't want to buy any more clothes after this because I think I already have more than enough and I am trying to be more minimal. So that's where we are with the personal spend. I have to admit that also tracking has not been that great for me this month. I felt like I fell off the bandwagon and wasn't tracking as closely on my spending as I have the prior months and I just ended up getting really lazy. So if you are guilty of that too, let me know in the comments and let me know how you bounce back from the laziness. The other category is for mostly business supplies. We've been trying to make sure that we have been getting the selling up again and we've run out of packaging supplies so we've had to purchase stuff there. So that was kind of an unexpected expense. So we're over budget by $150.91 there. Subscriptions, so far we're under budget, but I think we will be going over budget on this category because I added a new subscription. I started enrolling in Noom for tracking, you know, my eating habits as well as just, you know, my weight loss journey because I definitely know that I've gained a lot of weight during this pandemic and I'm trying to change my mindset and have a healthier lifestyle. My husband's been doing it with me, so we're trying to get really good and active again. So that's where our Noom subscription is added to this and you're going to see that turn red really soon. Clothing, which I mentioned before, this is already way over budget, close to $80. I'm happy that we had something budgeted and sinking funds to pull from for this, but again, I gotta cut back on the shopping because that's really what got me into debt, especially my credit card debt in the first place. So I'm catching myself now and telling myself that I just kind of need to cut it off and start working with a smaller amount of personal spending allocated for myself. All right, so looking at what our pie chart is showing us on how we're doing on our actual spending, debt to payoff is still number one, which is good. We wanted to stay our number one and we're close to 40% on that, which I'm happy with, but you know, I'm not happy that it looks like we're not going to meet our goal. So I'm hoping that this month is like the only fluke and that we're better meeting our goals for the months forward. Household in second, which is expected. Mortgage takes up um, a big chunk of our expenses. And looking at third place to be the sinking funds, which is good. That's also a big reason why we're feeling like we're not having a lot of money left over to do the debt payoff. When I was doing my credit card debt, it felt like I was making massive payments, knocking down that debt for the credit cards. But ever since we finished paying off the credit cards, we told ourselves we wanted to start sinking funds. So now I'm feeling like a little deflated because I feel like the sinking funds take a big chunk from what would have been contributed to my debt payoff for the student loans. But I try to remind myself that it's okay because it's better to have those funds set aside, especially with some of those big ticket stuff that we know that's coming up, like moving as well as home projects to get this house ready to be rented out. So I am a little bit relieved that we have a cushion there and not going into debt for those expenses. So I don't know. If you have a pep talk that you can give me in the comments, I would so appreciate it. But I am feeling a little like deflated about the sinking funds taking away from my debt payoff. And after sinking funds, the majority of that is going to food. More money than we would like to spend on food, but we just have to take the hit this month for this category just because we are having last minute visitors with family and I don't want to turn them away or be super frugal. They are aware that we are really trying to be strict on our budget, so they've definitely tried to help out and be fair there, but we're also okay like moving our money around a little bit to add more money to pay for our food category. So yep, that's our pie chart. And with the bar graph, with how we're doing on the categories, 
nothing really surprising there. All the stuff that is in red, you'll see that it's over this 100% line. So that's telling you guys that, hey, we're overspending quite a bit. So usually I think the 100% is like all the way down here, but because we've overspent on quite a few categories, you're seeing this section for 150%, which is where the areas that I was read, like food, pet care, personal spend, other clothing, that's all hitting that area of this bar graph. So I should have been checking this a lot more holding myself more accountable, tracking my expenses more, but I definitely was not that harsh on myself this month. But July is going to be an even crazier month because we have some big changes coming our way and we already have our July budget ready to go. So stay tuned for that video. We also have our first net worth update coming out soon so we can't wait for you guys to see that but if you guys have enjoyed this budget update for the month of june so far make sure to give it a thumbs up as well as hitting the subscribe button if you're not subscribed to the channel already also make sure to hit the notification bells if you want to get notified about my awesome budget updates and if you want to see more of this dashboard and let me know in the comments how you guys are doing with your debt-free journey. I could use a pep talk and I would love to hear how you guys are doing um, because I am losing a little bit of motivation. So I'm asking you guys to help me by being my accountability partner because I'm feeling a little bit of shame this month with the spending, but it's summer and we feel like we wanna go out and socialize more. So any tips and advice that you guys have on how to accommodate the urge to spend and socialize when the weather is getting nice is also really helpful. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to catch you guys in the next one.